Crossing that stage is a very special feeling, and I'm really excited for each one of you to feel that this evening. And I hope it's something that you continue to be hungry for, and something that you want to continue to strive to do, to be successful and to continue to achieve. I have a lot of great memories from my time as a student, and uh, I'm sure that, you know, with today's celebration, I hope that the graduation ceremony and, the, and this morning's breakfast kind of enhances that graduation experience for you. And while graduation is meant as a time for your personal achievement, it also serves as a time to reflect, to think back on everything that you've done, and especially what you're leaving behind as far as a legacy is concerned. When you think about your own legacy, ladies and gentlemen, what do you think about when you think about Pitt Community College? Do you think about what you're leaving behind? Do you think about the times that you helped others be successful? Did you hold a leadership role in a club or an organization? Or did you change the campus in some positive way to benefit future students that are coming behind you? Pitt is awesome, and you can now give them all the reasons why it's awesome. Your life, your journey is literally the example. And so I just encourage all of you guys to continue with what you're doing. Other than that, I am finished, and I just want to say congratulations, class of 2016. I am looking so forward to everything you guys are going to do upon graduation. and. Good evening, everyone, to this 2016 commencement exercises of Pitt Community College. As president, it is my honor to greet you graduates and extend my sincere congratulations to you all. Now, you graduates, you represent the largest group of students participating in our commencement ceremony in Pitt's history. This is indeed the era of the community college, and you have benefited from the high quality education which we offer. In an age where we have vast amounts of information in the palms of our hands, people rely less and less on their ability to think and more on their ability to access data. But at some point, someone has to make sense of all that information, and that's what you have spent your time, your energy, and your money learning over the last few years. You can do whatever you want to do. You believe in yourself and you surround yourself with positive people. And I can't stress that enough. Surround yourself with people who believe in you and are willing to help you achieve your goals. Now, along the way, you're going to get a lot of advice. Some of it you're going to want to remember and some of it you're going to want to forget. So if you want to remember one thing that I say this evening, I want you to remember this. You're about to become college graduates. You have an opportunity to play a special part in the future of this community of our state and of our country. Take full advantage of what life has to offer. Revel in your freedom and sample the full richness of the opportunities that lie before you. Believe in yourselves and help your fellow man. By helping others, you're gonna find more joy and happiness than you can imagine. You're Americans. It's your birthright to dream great dreams and to achieve great things. Graduates, Godspeed. Go Bulldogs. Okay, graduates, would you please stand? By the, by the authority vested in me by the Board of Trustees of Pitt Community College, and on, uh, upon recommendation of the faculty, I hereby confer upon each of you the degree or diploma for the program from which you have graduated. You may now turn your tassels.